Okay, so today we're looking at Love Hina, uh, presented by Sega. Of course, it's based on the comic book uh, that was written, uh, that was produced in Japan by Ken Akamatsu. So we'll just uh, press the start button, and we'll get on with the game. I don't have a memory card in, but that's fine. Now you've got three uh, major aspects to the game. The first one is the stories, and the second part of love letters, which you unlock during the game. And the third is your photo gallery. So we'll just take a look at the games for the time being. Now then you've basically got several stories about each character, well the central characters from uh, Love Hina the comic book, and well I guess now the anime. So we'll just take a look at, um, we'll take a look at Naru's story. Now, basically, the main character, um, Keitaro, who you play, uh, he doesn't speak. You never hear his voice, because uh, it's meant to be your voice, but you will hear the voice of other characters. So he's just saying, yush, and he's done his work. The game is uh, entirely set in this sort of quasi sort of... Oh. It's all based in this sort of uh, 2D, 3D uh, world, and you just walk around the uh, Hinata apartments and talk with uh, all the occupants, mainly uh, people like Naru and uh, Kitsune, and uh, you get into conversations and into uh, situations which you have to fix. Now, some people have sort of said that this is a date sim in their reviews. It isn't really a date sim, it's just uh, a matter of um, solving certain problems and certain uh, dynamics that are occurring in, in the Hinata house. And uh, overall, it's quite a, it's quite a exciting game. But on the other hand, some people might find it really boring. Overall, the voice work is done very well, and I think fans of the manga will be very pleased with uh, what the Sega developers have uh, done. Overall, the system's pretty flawless, and with all the uh, different stories, it will keep you occupied for hours, and uh, if you're interested in uh, studying Japanese, then um, it's reasonably good. Uh, I do think it's lacking in uh, sub, sub hiragana underneath all the kanji, but overall, uh, you'll probably get the gist of things, and yeah, just, just to enjoy it for your own interest, really. Okay, so you control your character using the uh, the main keyboard, so you can talk with people in the apartment. And this is another character. And basically, she'll give you some information, uh, which he's picking up at the moment. There we go. Excellent. You can go up the stairs in the Hinata houses, and basically you just uh, you talk with all the characters, and they'll give you more information. Like for example, I think this is uh, yep, this is uh, Naru's room, so you can have a chat with her. Okay, so the game runs on this sort of uh, luck system, and I'll just demonstrate to you. If you haven't completed all the tasks. Uh, you won't, you probably won't get lucky, so, here we go, hopefully you get it on a circle and not a cross. Oh, 
unlucky. Okay, so now the story will take a turn for the worst, which isn't very good. I think it might involve Okay, it's already getting beaten up. Yeah, it certainly looks like it now. 